Hi, I'm Angie Thomas, and I am here to answer questions from Waterstones booksellers about The Hate You Give. It was extremely important to me that the um, Hate You Give be told from the perspective of a 16-year-old girl, specifically a 16-year-old black girl. Um, when we discuss Black Lives Matter and the issues the movement addresses, so often the focus goes to young black men because so often they are the victims. But young black women are victims as well. In the states specifically, young black girls are more likely to get suspended than their white counterparts. They're more likely to have negative encounters with even school security guards. So they're often overlooked in these discussions. It was the young black girls in Texas who were thrown onto the ground in the classroom um, by the security guard. It was the young black girls in Texas who were thrown onto the ground after the pool party. So we don't talk about them enough. We don't give them enough attention in that regard. So I wanted to show this from the perspective of a 16-year-old black girl to show that this trauma affects them just as much. And we need to address it with them just as much as we addressed it, address it with young black boys. Well, for me, a big part of the story was having Star's family um, truly involved, her parents truly involved, because I felt as if this young girl was going through the most traumatic moment of her life. Her parents need to be there. Um, I was inspired greatly by my favorite book as a kid, which was a book called Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Mildred D. Taylor. And in that book, one of the best things about that book to me as a kid was the family dynamic. Um, the main character, Cassie, her parents were very involved and her parents had their own personalities and their own um, stories in a way. So I wanted to kind of mimic that with The Hate You Give. And I wanted Star to have this strong family base because she was going through so much. And for me, the characters themselves, they were inspired by real people. Um, and they were also just figments of my imagination. I wanted to give her imperfect parents because that's the truth of the matter. Parents are imperfect. And despite that, though, her parents are perfectly loving. You know, they give her that perfect environment of their own. They create a safe space in the midst of chaos. So for me, creating her mom and her dad, honestly, that was one of the best parts to me. I love her parents. I think they're two of my favorite characters in the book and her brothers as well. So I was, I was happy to give her that peace in the midst of the chaos around her. Um, you know, I don't talk to a lot of angry teenagers so much as I talk to a lot of passionate teenagers. Um, so many of them are frustrated and they're passionate about what they believe in and they want to be heard. Um, so often as adults we do unfortunately say, well they're just angry, but we need to look at it a little differently and say, well maybe they're just passionate. Um, maybe this is something that really bothers them. Um, I know specifically with black teenagers in the States, um, there's a lot of frustration there. And yeah, there's anger, but there's a lot more hurt and pain there as well. And for me, as an author, I want to show that. Um, and I want to show that there are so many sides to this, even with their emotions and how they feel about it. So while I have met some angry teenagers, I think I've met way more passionate teenagers. And they honestly give me a lot of hope for the future. These kids are determined to not repeat the mistakes of the past, and they're determined to have a better future than the present that we've created for them. So they give me hope with their frustration and their anger. <laughs> I am just as fond of my trainers. And first of all, as an American, it is kind of odd to say trainers. I'm so used to saying sneakers, but I love it. Um, I am very fond of mine. I, unfortunately for my bank account, have a large collection of sneakers. Um, I, I think my love for them has gone back since I was a kid. There was something about being that kid on the first day of school with the coolest shoes, the coolest trainers. When you walk into the school, nobody could tell you anything. You were like, it. So like, it goes back to that, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, my favorite brand by far is Air Jordan. And my favorite design, it's hard to say it's one design because Jordan's daughter has started designing sneakers for the company and her designs are amazing. She does everything from red velvet to snakeskin and it's just amazing. So it's nice to get that, that feminine touch to um, a shoe company and it shows too that 
girls wear sneakers and we love them just as much. Trust me, you wear heels all day, you will want a pair of sneakers by the end. <laughs> <laughs>